Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There you um, go. Our Someone article was about <laughs> our article was about like with birth control and how some people like are forced to be sterilized and stuff so they won't have babies anymore. And so we just made we went through the articles and we made a huge list of like pros and cons and stuff. And all right. Can we just have a show of hands first of who thinks that people should be forced to be <laughs> sterilized? Oh. We're talking one, two. Can you uh, explain why, please? Yeah, this is your <laughs> No, it's no, not no, 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 no. Is it wrong? Well, we will explain. It's not being clean. If you don't know, seriously, I'm being mean, completely serious. Are you like, not sterilized? Like, are you being serious or are you just kidding? Oh, no. Oh, so this is all. Oh, you guys. Just continue your question. Did it say like a specific type of people were sterilized or just people in general? Well, if you were like unfit, like you're talking about like it's usually it's usually like the poor people, like women that are going to prison and stuff. Like it was, it was like the bad crowd kind of sort of like meth people. And so, like pros and cons, as we said, like some people like that aren't really like financially able to handle the kids then like that's better for them it's because they wouldn't be able to they're inadequate them. parents they can't yeah. care support Love. take care of their kids <laughs> so they uh, <laughs> can't provide they're enough health care they're not old enough for smart enough wait one at a time yeah. they're not old enough or smart enough to make smart dollars Another is like the government has to spend more money for every kid that's born, so it's also good for that reason. And then if the child, if like a parent is bad, that child's gonna ruin your life too if you don't want it. So. <laughs> well, it really that's is. That's why you want to get rid of it. And you know, a lot of the unwanted kids cause burden on the government and themselves and their parents. So that's one pro to grow up and be a little thug. No, yeah. yeah, I mean, if, if usually, usually, like we said at the beginning, the people that make these decisions or that that have this happen are usually the bad crowd. So a child growing up in that kind of atmosphere is not like as good for them. So they won't like. It says like statistically that like that child won't grow up to be like successful, and they'll be like Mitchell said, like, uh, it's not your ideal child. Yeah, it's yeah. not. Yeah, and there's also like a bunch of risks that like a birth defects. <laughs> Stuff like that. Uh, and it also, uh, the government tried to prevent many like mental, mentally unstable and physically unstable people from uh, having kids. So they forced sterilization upon many people. And uh, one of the cons of that was uh, it, it caused long-term uh, social, psychological, and uh, mental problems Wait, with people. We are arguing. They didn't have choice. This isn't an argument for us, uh, like to be forced. For sterilization. This is so that people like can use contraception and stuff so like that. So we can this still isn't, have yeah, this isn't for forced sterilization. It's just choice. It's something that happened. It's something that happened in the past. That yeah. yeah. Holly, this is really, right. Holly had a really good con of why like some people may not. Because of the. They sure? not oh yeah, uh, for religion, like some religions don't. Allow it's orally and ethically wrong. Yeah. But yeah, but you can't have a government step in for religious reasons. So. So, right. huh? Anything else? Another con is it's costly, but people still should still have a choice to do whatever they want. Um, and no, a lot of those people, a lot of the kids will end up having to collect welfare later on, statistically, because they don't have parents uh, that can support them and take care of them. And they're not provided with the education and the care that they need. So. Let's do our thing. And we've got a skit. Okay, yeah. a skit. Oh, yeah. Okay. Alright, so. Uh, it's There's two uh, parts. There's there's the first part where Mitchell and I are a couple, and I am the woman, and he's the man of the relationship. And. <laughs> and then um, there's one situation where it's us without the baby and we chose to use contraceptives and how much better our life was because we aren't good parents. And then there's one with the baby and how terribly we treat it and stuff like that. Well, I mean, it's just... It's going to be visual. So, um, he needs to be at the counter. We can walk in. Jordan, it's <laughs> you were so good last night. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Walgreens. I can help you guys. Can, can we please have Plan a B. plan B? Uh, oh, you're there. You guys must have a fun last night. We did. Uh, yeah, that was pretty crazy.
plays a while, my, my back is kind of safe. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. That ought to do the trick. Right, Thank God. Put put that, that, yeah, put that, that right in. You guys right. totally straight. Alright. Yeah. Okay, this is, um, I'm telling him that I'm pregnant, and then, uh, it's gonna fast forward ten years. Yes. Actually, two years. He's thirty. Alright, uh, can we have silence, please? I don't know, it's... Hey, sit down. Jesus Christ. Babe, I'm pregnant. I don't know how I feel about that. I want to keep the baby. I know we can't afford it, but... No. I want to keep it. I want to keep it. I want to keep it. No, I'm sorry, definitely not. Two years later. Alright, dude. Alright. Wait. Get up! Get up! Get up! Come here! Come here! Get up! Get up! Come here! Hungry! I'm hungry! Get up! Get up! No food! We don't have enough food to eat! No! Come on! You're not getting to eat anything. Get up! Get up! Come here! Do something with your son! Dude, come on! Raise him! Do something about this! Are you a father? Call yourself a father? Do something! Jesus Christ! Do Roll it over! Do something! Come stop! Stop moving! You stop! You are the worst! Get up, child. They have your retarded kid. We don't have enough money for you! We don't have enough money for you! Cut it, cut it. Okay, this is getting so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I didn't expect him to be rolling around like Yeah, that. I didn't. <laughs> so, that was, uh, that was two different sides of the story. Sweet. Alright!